Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we are gonna be sharing with you how to properly care for goat's milk. So we have been milking Nigerian dwarf goats, which is a small dairy breed for over five years. And this is an awesome option if you have a small farm or homestead and you are wanting to do something on a smaller scale. We have found that this Nigerian dwarf milk is kind of what they call the Jersey milk of dairy goats, which means it is a wonderful tasting, very sweet milk with a lot of yummy cream. And so our family uses goat's milk exclusively now for just our regular things like milk in cereal, milk in recipes, and we have really come to love it. We also have learned that how you care for your milk is super important. So with goat milk, once you have done your milking out in your barn, you want to make sure that you get your milk inside and you get it chilled and filtered as quickly as possible. So I wanted to show you if you are wanting to start milking your own dairy goats, what are some of the basic supplies that you need? Thankfully, it's not much. Um, we do not use any kind of a pulse milker or milker of any sort at this point, something we may do in the future, but we just do the milking by hand and then here are our basic supplies. So couple things that you want to have on hand. First of all, these milk filters, we just grabbed these off of Amazon. These are perfect because they will fit right in your funnel, which I will show you in a moment, and they will get anything that may be floating around in your milk bucket. Um, next thing is this awesome little stainless steel milk filter um, and funnel. So we just put our white filter right down inside of our um, funnel and using the stainless steel is very important because you want to be able to clean everything with super hot water um, right after you do your milking just to keep everything clean and free of any bacteria. So we use all glass and stainless steel. This funnel can also be found on Amazon and then using something um, for your actual milking that is stainless steel is a great option also. We have two different sizes. This is the larger bucket and this is the smaller. Um, these are also purchased off of Amazon and they are great because once you get done milking and filtering your milk, you wanna make sure that you wash your stainless steel and glass items that you are using in nice hot soapy water right afterwards so that you don't have any bacteria develop on the items that you're using. So I have our small um, milk jug here with some fresh milk from our morning milking that was just completed and I'm going to show you what we do when we bring in our milk pail in the morning. So we like to use the quart um, mason jars to store our milk in in our refrigerator. So I'm gonna take my funnel with my um, filter down inside of it and I'm gonna place this on my glass mason jar. And then you're just going to slowly begin to pour that beautiful fresh milk slowly into the filter so that it doesn't overflow into your glass jar. It is as simple as that, guys. And once you have filtered your milk, you are gonna wanna clean everything with hot soapy water. So your milk pan, um, you're going to wanna rinse out your filter. We will reuse this a time or two before we get a new one. So we take very hot scalding water and rinse out and clean out our filter. We then clean our funnel and we have our jar of milk ready to go into the fridge instantly. And that is another really important step. If you bring your milk pail in and let it sit on the counter for an hour before you get to it, that is when people feel like goat's milk has a flavor that they do not enjoy. So um, recapping those important tips, use glass and stainless steel for everything. Make sure you filter your milk after milking and make sure you get your milk in the refrigerator right away. Um, I have a jar here that I pulled from the refrigerator. We like to store it with either the canning lid or just these leak proof ball mason jar lids and getting it right in the fridge afterwards makes a huge difference. So I hope these are some helpful tips for you if you are thinking about considering milking goats. If you have any questions, please reach out to us in the comments below or on Instagram at Haven Valley Homestead. You can also email us at havenvalleyhomestead at gmail.com. We'd love to share um, or try to answer any questions. Like I said, this is something that we have really found is just an easy system. Um, you can invest in your milk pan, your filters, your funnel, all 
of that for under $50 and it really, really makes it simple and easy to make sure that your milk is clean, filtered, and chilled right away after you finish your milking. So um, I hope you guys will um, take these tips and implement them as you um, pursue maybe trying to milk goats. And if you have questions on different breeds or how to get started, reach out to us. We'll be happy to share any ideas that we can with you. Thanks guys. Make sure you subscribe below for more episodes.